Now, President Joe Biden is on vacation in South Carolina. The White House is not taking any break from pushing abortion access, and pro-life groups are not taking any break from protecting unborn lives. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, today, Vice President Kamala Harris scheduled a meeting with California state lawmakers. It's just one of several roundtable discussions she's been convening on abortion. And today, we spoke with a pro-life leader who calls the fight for life the most important social justice issue. Vice President Kamala Harris arrives in San Francisco, her latest stop in an all-out push for abortion access coast to coast. Just yesterday, she was in Las Vegas telling state legislators there the Biden administration has already taken action. And the president has signed executive orders and we will be doing more. The White House also says the vice president has recently met with state legislators from 17 states to discuss protecting reproductive rights. She has also convened health care providers, constitutional law experts, faith leaders, leaders, state attorneys general, disability rights leaders, higher education leaders, and advocates. So what does pro-life group March for Life's Jeannie Mancini think of that? Well, their stance is totally out of touch with mainstream America. It's abortion on demand until birth, paid for by your tax dollars. As for the Biden administration's overall strategy to expand abortion access? We know that the large majority of Americans, even people who self-identify as, as being pro-choice, would limit abortion more than, than that very radical extreme stance. The March for Life is not stopping. They already have it set for January 20th next year. And with all the pro-abortion bills Democrats are trying to pass in Congress, Jeannie Mancini says. There's no lack of work still at the national level, as we've seen over the last few weeks, where there's been hearing after hearing um, with erroneous messaging. Jeannie Mancini also encourages pro-lifers to be as vocal and active as possible at the state level. And she wants to change hearts and minds so that one day abortion will be unthinkable. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.